My grandfather was a good man, but he believed that wilderness emotions were not to be seen. Cry with the door closed. Don't dwell on the negative. Chin up, kid, we've been here before. My grandfather was a good man, but I'd like to say the wilderness is here to interrupt your previously scheduled programming. Like water in the desert and setting the slaves free, the wilderness might be the very thing we need, the very thing we dream, the very thing we plead for. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it never seems appealing to let a bird in the house. But if you do, then you might as well open every window and door. And if you do, then you just might find yourself basking in the light, dancing in the breeze, overwhelmed with the beauty that an open door brings. So I'm opening my door and inviting in the wind to rustle up my heart and start over again. For sweeping the truth under the rug has never gotten us far. So may the wilderness be like a bird in your house. Throw open your doors. The truth must come out. Amen. That was The Wilderness is a Place of Disruption by the poet Sarah R. I love that prayer, that poem, because it encourages us in this wilderness of Lent, in this time between Christmas and Easter, this time of, of wilderness exploration of our souls, to not close the door, close, our, close ourselves in, shut ourselves up, but to throw the door open to the Spirit like a house with a bird in it. Open it up, air it out, and find yourself dancing in the wilderness with God. The truth must come out. It's a lovely image for this Lent. Blessings, my friends.